I don't hardly know of a single woman, ladies, who is not kind of running herself ragged these days. We have so many responsibilities. I mean, you might be a wife and a mom of young children or teenage children. Uh, maybe you're also working outside the home, either part-time or full-time. Maybe you're volunteering at church. Maybe you're volunteering at your kid's school. And the list goes on and on and on. And, and we feel like we must be super mom and super wife. And we see people on Pinterest and Facebook and Instagram, and it looks like their life is so together. I mean, they're growing their own vegetables. They're raising their own ducks so they can have goose down feather pillows that they've made themselves. I mean, these ridiculous things that we feel like everyone else is doing. But here's what I know. God did not create super women who can just, you know, go and go and go and go and go. And No, we become overwhelmed. And when I get overwhelmed with the busyness, with all the demands of my life, you know what happens to me? This might sound familiar to you. I get irritable. I get grouchy. I start snapping at everyone. Oh, right? <laughs> yeah, like just, it looks like that too. Oh. So let's give ourselves permission to take a break a couple times during the day. It could be five minutes, it could be 10 minutes, it could be 15 minutes. And, and I know some of you are thinking, take a break, I've got these little toddlers running around. You know what? You can tell children at a very young age, it's time for everyone to take a rest. We're gonna have a rest for 10 or 15 minutes. You're gonna play in your room quietly, you're gonna read books, you're gonna, you know, whatever. Uh, maybe you are working outside the home. Okay, I'm sure you probably do get some kind of break at work, whether it's a lunch break or a 15 minute break. Get out, take a little walk. Even if it's winter, put on your winter coat and just walk outside. Solitude, no one that's got any demands on you where you just give yourself permission to withdraw and recharge your batteries. And if you think, oh, I don't need that, you are so wrong because even Jesus, you know, God in the flesh, even Jesus needed to do this. Yes, and do you think you're stronger than Jesus? I direct you to Luke 5, 16, where it says Jesus often withdrew to desolate places. He needed to recharge his batteries too. There were so many people with demands on his life, come heal me, come do a miracle for me. And he had to withdraw so he could recharge his batteries with the Father. Now for you, that might mean praying like Jesus did and just asking the Lord to you know, kind of refill your, your energy tank. It might be just puttering around in your garden in the summertime, it might be sitting in front of the fireplace with a cup of tea uh, in the winter time. It might mean taking a quick walk. It could be scrapbooking. It put, could be listening to worship music. It could be any number of things that recharge your batteries. All I'm saying is, ladies, give yourself permission to take a little break to recharge so that you can re-engage.